have some observations because I've been at this for a long time, and there are um, things about uh, digital phenomena, you know, the digital engagement that, um, that both thrill me and worry me. And I want to talk a little bit about some of those things. And um, one of them is uh, the issue that comes to my mind is the issue of continuity, the continuity of experience. And um, there are three aspects to that that I, that I notice. And these are somewhat pulled out of a hat. Uh, one of them is uh, simply the continuity of attention. That because we have cell phones and we have laptops and we have all of these things, there's uh, now uh, this uh, a possibility of continual interruption. Uh, those of us that are a little bit older, you know, somewhat get used to it. Uh, uh, some of you, uh, it's, I've been interesting observing the generations here in this talk. Is Amber here? No. Um, I, I, was in, I was wondering how old she was, because um, she actually is not a younger generation person. She's somewhere in between. I think of anyone under 50 as being young. But she's probably, what would you say? Let's, let's guess here. 34? 25? Oh. 20, well, she doesn't sleep. Maybe she looks a little older because she doesn't get any sleep. <laughs> When she was describing uh, soldering things with her father, you know, making, I realized she is actually from an older generation than people who just uh, grow up, you know, and they, you know, they, they have cell phones at the age of five. And, and people who are in their teens now are actually in a different generation than children now who, um, who will pick up a, an iPhone and start using it, which many of you have seen probably. So there are, uh, there are actually different stages uh, within this. But, but the thing that concerns me, back to this idea of continuity, is um, what happens when our attention is interrupted continuously? What happens to us? You know, I read all of these studies, we all do probably, about um, you know, what, what, what's, what's happening to us with all of this digital media. Um, you know, and there are reports that say uh, they're, it's expanding our boundaries you know, in ways that are unimaginable in human history. And other reports are saying, this is so fucking up the whole species, we just don't even know what's going to happen next. <laughs> you know? And I've come to the conclusion that they're all true. They're actually all true. The potential for uh, expansion is it's tremendous. I mean, how thrilling is, is the internet? It's so thrilling. I mean, you just anything you want. And how weird is it? and how in strange, strangely how disconnected it is and how disconnecting it can be in all of the time we spend on it. I spend way too much time at a computer. So that's the issue of continuity of, of, of attention, uh, which um, I'll just uh, leave that open for the moment. Uh, the other one uh, and th is the continuity of um, social norms that there was a time, <laughs> not that long in the past, where it was considered rude to be doing something else while somebody was talking to you. That was actually, you know, it was just a, a basic training, you know, like, like don't interrupt, you know, you, know you, you wait, you know, you pay attention. It actually requires attention. And now, I mean, it's, it's sort of, you know, people are tweeting, twittering, texting, and doing stuff all the time. I tell my students in my classes, to uh, turn off the phones, no, and no texting. We'll, you'll be okay. We'll take a break, and an hour and a half, you can, you, can, you can do whatever you want. We'll take a short break, and when the break's over, shut it off. We're here in a room together, we're talking. You know, that's a, um, that's a very simple um, issue of, uh, you could say, uh, cultural norms. And uh, there's a lot that we could talk about with that. I was thinking about that um, um, yesterday in the, um, who's, who was talking about uh, uh, McLuhan? Ken. Ken was talking about M Marshall McLuhan and that, the, um, that you know, when a new technology comes in, some things go out the window. And I thought, hmm, what's gone out the window with, uh, you know, with texting and iPhones and stuff? Uh, and one of them might be you know, sort of uh, good manners. <laughs> Which is, uh, I like in the Century Theaters, uh, they say, you know, they, they used to say, you know, please turn off your cell phone. <laughs> now they say, um, 
your texting and <laughs> tweeting can wait till after the movie. Don't make us ask you to leave. You know, I mean, they have this really strident sign. It's actually really cool. It's like, in case you didn't get it the first time, shut the thing up. I mean, have you ever been in a theater and, you know, like this, suddenly the screen lights up in front of you because somebody's uh, tweeting the movie? <laughs> uh, but I think a lot of it is just that we're, it's the technology is new and we're new at it. So, um, you know, maybe we're learning it as we go along. <laughs>